Hello guys and welcome back to Apex of Scabrock. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a 2 million coin farm, okay? It can produce 2 million coins per day. Before we get into this video, can I just say I'm going to be giving away a full set of tarantula armor that is worth 2 million coins on my Discord server. So make sure you join that and enter the giveaway. It's free and on top of that, there will be many new giveaways in the future. Anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so here is my uh, tarantula farm. I have 20 tier 4 tarantula minions. Okay, they're dropping tarantulas down rapidly onto the uh, hoppers. I'll explain all that later. So, these uh, tarantula minions are around 100 blocks in the sky. Tarantulas have 10,000 health, which means you, you they gotta drop from a really high height. Uh, or else they won't die. So, uh, these tarantula minions, what they have inside them are a super compactor. A super compactor is necessary if you can't AFK for at least like over 12 hours a day. If you can't AFK for uh, over 12, uh, 12 hours a day, then a super compactor is necessary. If you can AFK for more than 12 hours a day, then you should run double minion expanders on each of these tarantula minions. If you don't know what a minion expander does, it increases uh, the speed of the minion by 5%. Uh, oh, I also have diamond spreading, okay. Diamond spreading is useful if you are uh, not going to be AFK on your island for more than 12 hours a day, as it will, uh, it will generate diamonds occasionally uh, and l increase your profits like, by almost double. So, I have 20 tier 4 tarantula minions. Each uh, tarantula minion is 100k tier 1, and to get it to tier 4, it's probably around 160, 170k. So in total, uh, if all these were going to be tier 1s, this would be a 2 million coin farm. Uh, if it's uh, if each one's like 150, 160k, it's going to be a bit more, obviously. But I can't be asked to do that math. So uh, they also have budget hoppers, just in case the storage fills up. Uh, budget hoppers, they just make it so it will go uh, on even if its storage is full up. That is good, because if their storage fills up and they don't have a budget hopper, it will stop producing anything, which means the dropper won't work. Okay. So, uh, we want to arrange the tarantula minions in a configuration like this, uh, which means they will spawn the tarantulas on the fence gates. They think it's a real block. I don't know, they're dumb or something, they're brain damaged. Uh, they'll spawn it on the fence gates thinking it's a real block, okay? Then they'll fall down there and head onto the question mark block. All right, we're going to go onto that now. So, uh, we fall down here. Very long fall, obviously, they have 10,000 health. This is actually uh, around a 10 by 10, I think. 11, 12 by 12 square of hoppers, okay? It could probably be a lot smaller than this, but I've just done it so I can fit some lovely pixel art, right? I'm such an artist. So, if we head down here, these hoppers, uh, they feed into three different channels, all right? They feed into this channel here, which is this uh, row of hoppers. We have the middle channel here for the middle hoppers and the end channel for the end, uh, the end channel for the end hoppers, the right hoppers, I guess. Uh, now, you want to split them into three channels because if you have all these hoppers going into one channel, which is what I used to do, the, that channel's just going to get clogged up. Seeing as it can only transfer one item, like, per, I think, like, ten ticks, uh, that's not fast enough. So this, uh, having three channels, makes it so these hoppers are not clogged up at all. That means uh, you can like transfer items very efficiently from the hoppers to the next part which is a storage system all right so the three hopper channels uh, they're coming down here from the island of course i've made it look fancy i mean it's whatever so they come down here and then they head across this pipe into this storage system the storage system is really easy con to construct don't worry about these comparators or the redstone or this bit just like slice this bit it's not needed it basically just tells me if an entire silo is full up uh, that's about it. So uh, there's a row of eight going up and uh, it's like 15. So 15 by eight. I don't know. Do the math. That's a lot of chests. We're using chests and uh, trap chests so we can like, uh, what's it, put them next to each other for maximum efficiency, space efficiency. So uh, if you don't know how this hopper thing works, basically um, hoppers will, before going across, they'll check if there's an empty hopper under them and they'll go into that. So they'll just do that, and then at the end, um, at the bottom one, sorry, they'll just head into this chest, okay? And we have that going for all of them. You'll notice in each of these chests, um, there's a random assortment of items, well, strings, batteries, or iron ingots. If you wanted, you could have a automatic sorter, which means each row 
would be uh, iron, no, one row would be iron, one row would be like string, one row would be sputter eyes. The problem with that is uh, Hypixel Skyblock, it has like a lot of players on it, like 60,000 on a regular basis. It has a lot of servers to run, which means there's a lot of lag, especially with redstone. There's also a redstone limit, as you can see on the right side. Uh, so you can't have too many redstone processes going at the same time. And if there's a sorting system going around, like going 24-7, there's gonna be a lot of redstone processes happening at the same time, okay? But basically, um, the problem with having a sorting system on Hypixel Skyblock is a lot of the time it will just uh, skip an item, like in the actual storage system, because Hypixel's lagging, it's tripping, I don't know what it's doing, but it would literally just skip an item, and it's raining. Uh, right, so it'll just skip an item, which means it will like decrease the efficiency by a lot, if you want to counter this, right? If you're really that lazy, and you really want everything in each column, what you gotta do is make like a loop of hoppers going around. So if it skips it, uh, skips the sorting hopper, it'll just go around and have another shot. All right. And I guess you could do that, but at the same time, that's just a little bit stupid, and it would, it's just a lot more efficient uh, to just put them all into one. So uh, one last thing. A uh, efficient way of collecting the items from the chests is to collect your string for example hold shift and double left click and just do that a couple times if there's an item coming in like string for example uh, then it'll be harder to collect obviously we'll do the same for spider eyes and iron like that and then you could just do it for every chest like this so you will want to have a personal compactor you will only need a uh, Personal compactor 5000, I think, because there's only three items Enchanted Spider Eye, Enchanted String, and Enchanted Iron. But I have a personal compactor 7000 because I'm rich, obviously. So a personal compactor will help a lot when uh, taking things out of chests, otherwise, your inventory is just going to get clogged up very quickly. Anyway, if you did enjoy the uh, tutorial on how to build a farm that can produce almost 2 million coins a day, smash like and uh, subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. We're like one subscriber away from 250 subscribers. Do you want to be the 250th subscriber? Uh, subscribe, I guess. Uh, join my Discord server if you want to join that giveaway. It's literally free money. And you'll be missing out on it. A chance to win it. I mean, you could win it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Bye!